This is the SDSU Infant and Child Development Lab. Our main focus is on children's early learning, in particular their learning of language, but their learning of other cognitive concepts like spatial concepts. And we're interested in um, what that predicts about their development later and their school readiness ultimately. We're really interested in measuring their earliest comprehension vocabulary. And arguably, children are understanding words by the time they're six to nine months. So we're bringing kids in at 16 months when they can respond to our task and we're trying to get a direct measure of what they know about language, what linguistic concepts they really understand. Where's the car? Touch car. Car. Wow. Nice job. So we have them doing two different tasks. And the first task is the touch screen task. We call it the computerized comprehension task, the CCT. So when they come into the room, it's dimly lit so that they're not distracted. And they see two objects on the screen. And the experimenter labels one object for them. So we do this for 41 trials. And then we do another task with them. It's called a fast mapping task. And the purpose of the fast mapping task is just to get a sense of how quickly children can learn a new word. Can you put the coba in the bucket? Can you put the coba in there? The coba? So we're getting two measures, really. Their overall vocabulary comprehension and then their propensity or facility in learning new words. They start at 16 months and we're assessing them roughly every six months until they're about four and a half to five years of age. So we'll be watching their development starting with this early vocabulary um, through their ability to tell stories, then their ability to um, participate in various cognitive tasks, like their ability to pay attention or their ability to focus, all the way up to their school readiness. Some children actually um, are a little bit behind in terms of their understanding of words or their production of words. And these children are at risk if they stay behind for school readiness, for problems in school, for social problems, for problems in employment. So it goes all the way up through the life cycle. It's very important because I had um, like a reading problem when I was younger and I had to go to little, people would come to my house and try and help me read and I would go to extra classes to help read, help me read and um, it's very important. I don't want, I want him to be prepared when he goes to preschool and when he starts kindergarten. I want him to be up to par as well. Children who are delayed in um, pr production and speaking um, are very likely to recover, are very likely to look normal in a few years and that's what pediatricians tell parents. Your kid's going to be normal, he's probably going to be fine, right? And that's true. What we also know is that children who are delayed in comprehension and production are not so likely to recover. In fact, 75% of them go on to develop disabilities or to, to have long-term uh, delays. So, if we can get at children's comprehension, we have a chance at getting at those kids who are at most at risk.